very pleased <coughs> to be this morning with uh, Amina Mohammed, the Deputy Secretary General of the United Nations. And uh, without any further ado, you are most welcome. Thank, thank you. Thank you very much, Your Excellency. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu. It's a wonderful pleasure to be here in Sudan. I bring the greetings of the Secretary General. This is a, a mission that is in support of the new dawn of Sudan, uh, the United Nations um, accompanying uh, Sudan on its journey now, uh, and in particular the transition. Um, I'll be here for two days, uh, meeting with the different constituencies. We uh, began this morning with the Prime Minister, um, in which he again reiterated his vision and priorities uh, for the people of Sudan. We will meet with other members of government, uh, with civil society, with women leaders who have been at the forefront um, of this struggle. We will then go to the field and visit Darfur, and on our return, I hope that we can share with you um, our uh, support for the priorities uh, of the people of Sudan. my real pleasure to be here in North Darfur. This is a joint uh, solidarity visit here with my colleagues. Um, we are visiting both the government um, here, meeting with the Wali of North Darfur, visiting with the Minister of Social Development um, from uh, the government of Sudan and the United Nations team. We have spent the last two days in Sudan, uh, again congratulating you on the new dawn for uh, peace in Sudan and for um, the dividends of peace which is sustainable development. We uh, came to Darfur because the revolution and peace and the new day for Sudan is beyond Khartoum. It is here in Darfur where many, many challenges, many sacrifices over the years have been made and so it is important that the peace process that is going on in Darfur succeeds and that this is part of the success of the revolution um, and the new dawn for Sudan. UN as a system will not leave our IDPs to fend for themselves. We will be with them until there is a resolution of where they will return to. So the resolution, the solution to the challenges of the IDPs, the UN will be part of that solution and will continue to accompany them. The responsibility for peace in the day after lies with the government of Sudan. And the government of Sudan is led by those who participated and had, had the revolution. They have today a good national plan, a national plan that has the, uh, the issue of the IDPs and the different solutions that they can bring to the IDPs um, in Sudan uh, within that plan. Our job in the UN is to support that plan. That plan is both peace, it is economic, it is humanitarian. And for each one of those spaces, we hope that we can bring the expertise and the resources to ensure that the IDPs either return to their land um, or they return uh, where, they, where they best see they fit in the new uh, dawn of Sudan. We also want to, again, appreciate the partnership that we've had with Sudan, particularly in um, uh, Darfur with UNAMID. Um, the staff uh, of uh, the United Nations have been here for a long time committed, working day in, day out in this partnership, and it has borne fruit um, in that we are today visiting to talk about the future, the future of youth, the future of women who have been at the forefront of the revolution. And my visit today, speaking with members of civil society, the women of Darfur, um, to ensure that they are part of the peace process, they are part of the day after peace and sustainable development um, in Sudan. 